All right, so what we wanna do in this example is we would like to find the square root of 16.07. And to do so, what we're gonna do is use a tangent line approximation or sometimes referred to as a linear approximation. All right, so what we wanna do is we're gonna start with the function y equals the square root of x because we're dealing with a square root here. And then we're gonna evaluate this at 16. We're gonna use this x value because it's very close to 16.07. All right, so I'm gonna to choose to use the point slope form of a line initially. So to do so, I need to find both a point and a slope. So to find the point, I'm gonna start with our function y equals the square root of x. And we chose the x value of 16. So I'm gonna plug that in and get y equals the square root of 16, which simplifies down to be four. So this has the ordered pair. We plugged in an x value of 16, got a y value of four coming out. So this will be our x1, y1 that's gonna get plugged into the formula over to the right. Next, we also need a slope to go along with this. So our slope is going to be the same thing as the derivative evaluated at an x value of 16. So to get this derivative, I'm gonna visualize this as x to the one half power for our function instead of the square root of x. And we can use our power rule to bring the exponent down in front and then reduce the exponent by one. So one half minus one is gonna be negative one half. Now the negative exponent, we can get rid of that if we want to by bringing this down to the denominator and going one over two times x to the positive one half power, which is the same thing as one over two times the square root of x. Now we still need to get that slope. So we need to evaluate this derivative at our x value of 16. So I'm gonna substitute 16 in for our x value and reduce down here, the square root of 16 is gonna be four. So we have one over two times four is gonna be one eighth. All right, so now with our point, our x1, y1 values and our slope of one eighth, let's go over to our formula, the point slope form of a line. We can go y minus our y value is four equals one eighth and then x minus our x value with 16. So we have the equation of our line. Normally what we do is we get y on one side by itself. So I'm gonna add the four to move it to the other side. So we have y equals 1 8 times x minus 16 with a plus four at the end. We can reduce this down a little bit more if we'd like. Getting y equals, we're gonna distribute the 1 8 So 1 8 times x. And then 1 8 times 16 is gonna be two and a negative two in our case. Maybe a little bit more simplifying down, we can go ahead and combine our like terms. We can say negative two plus four makes positive two. So that's gonna be what we'll use to approximate this. You can also say this is gonna be the approximation 1 8 times x plus two, um, as long as our x values are very close to 16. Um, because we remember we did use an x value of 16 strategically because we wanted to approximate the square root of 16.07. So substituting that in, we can do 1 8th times the 16.07 um, plus 2 is going to be equal to 4.00875. As you get going on these, it's important that you, you strategically pick x values very close to whatever one you're trying to approximate. Also use a function that's very similar to the one we're, we're trying to approximate. So if this was cubed, let's say you'd use an x cubed for your starting function. Um, but I hope this helps as far as setting up these uh, linear approximations or tangent line approximations. All right, good luck.